Okay, okay, what's good, man? We back live, man. What's good, man? First of all, man, welcome to my channel, man. Today's video, we're going to be going over how to make hard beats for Travis Scott using Logic Pro on iPad. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just want to show people that you can really cook up on the iPad. You don't have to be, you know what I'm saying, in a stool. I mean, that's the ideal situation to be in, you know what I'm saying, to cook up. But like I said, bro, I'm a barber. I do a lot of things, but I can't be I can't be tethered to a studio all the time. So the iPad really helps me do this type of shit on the fly. So I'm going to go ahead and play the beat, man. Then we go get into it, man. That's enough of that, man. I really like that. I don't know about you, man, but listen, if you was feeling that, man, go ahead, give me a follow, a subscribe, however it go, man. Shout out to the gang. But anyway, listen, we gonna go straight into the sample, okay? I use this sample over here. Let me see if I can find a sample. Of the, uh, this right here, this is a sample right here. Okay, yeah. So you see that over there? That was a sample. Um, and I'm going to go into how I, you know, processed all this stuff. I'm going to try my best to, you know, show that. But we're going to go down here to the left corner and press the I button. You know what I'm saying? This brings up your regions where you can kind of, uh, you know, affect the samples or whatever you got in the um, playlist or whatever over there. So you're going to find general over here. And as you can see, I transposed this first sample. 11 cents, you know what I'm saying? So that give me this. Yeah, that give me that, you dig? And um, what I actually, okay, let me play it again. So you can see all of the shit that I use. Okay, as you can see down here, this is my AUV threes that I use. I'm gonna go through them. Like I said, on the first sample, I used, okay, nice truck passing, okay? Uh, anyway, as you can see, this is Bleece Slow Machine. Okay, this is the halftime, AKA gross beats for the pad, bro. This give you the same thing, okay? So, I, I tra uh, what's the word? I transposed it up 11 but i threw the gross beat on it which brought it back down and slowed it down and just made it sound a little different okay so that's what i did uh, i got the gross beat or the slow machine then i got a nice little eq you know what i'm saying i actually i have um the fab filter suite and i also have the mix box suite i'm gonna start using I'm, that's what i might do i'll make a video mixing yeah i might make a video using different yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a video one video i'm gonna use processing everything with the fab filter suite and i got the mix box suite too and i'll process stuff with that just to show you the different options and different ways you could you know utilize the damn ipad man but as you can see i got like a regular you know stock logic eq and that's the thing logic like bro this is logic bro like this is this is you know what I'm saying? All of this stuff, like all this stock shit is really what it is. You really don't need nothing because they really give you everything on here. But you know, people got to have motherfucking, uh, what it is, variety and all that type shit. So anyway, we're we going to move on. And as you can see, I still got the eye pulled up over here. And you can see the region. 
And over here, I got this one transposed up 23. I don't know what the hell I was doing, but I transposed it up and I threw the bleach on there. And I also put the, um, I threw the bleach on there. Okay, yeah, and on the last one, I did the same thing. I got a bleach on there and I actually transposed that one down one. So basically what I like to do is for my samples, you gotta have the layers, the context, you gotta have something taking up the high frequency, something taking up the mid frequency, and something taking up the lower frequencies. It needs to be EQ still, but I'm talking about like where the actual, you know what I'm saying, sound sit at, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's gonna give you more varieties throughout the track, you know what I'm saying? You could do different things, you know, take certain elements out, and you know, it just give it a different feel. So that's my, that's my, that's how my mind works when I'm making beats. I like my sample, I like to have three samples, you know what I'm saying? Just having in different frequencies so I could be able to, you know what I'm saying, switch it up and take some shit out and just give it a different vibe. But as you can see, I'ma just, these three right here, I'ma just play the sample, I'ma just play what I got and like, you know, all the process and everything, how, you know, everything just come together, which you probably heard, but I'ma just play it again anyway. So uh, this is where we at with it. I'm about to uh, just play, you know, the drums and everything. And I guess I'm gonna try to go over that to the best that I can. Okay, now look, this is what I got. This right here is what I got for the snare. A quite simple little pattern here. And this is why I always say that I like uh, the Logic. But yeah, I like Logic's drum sequencer because it just remind me of FL in many ways. But as you can see, that's all I got here. Yeah, so you see that right there. I don't have nothing on. Okay, this is my vocal. Um, yeah, all right, I'm trying to. Okay, on the snare. I don't have any processing on the snare. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in the hi-hats. Okay, now I'm going to add the um the kick snares that's what that is yeah classic trap house now i'm tripping down so
pretty much the beat right there. Um, you gotta let me know if you listen to my other video with my little surprise at the end. The surprise was just me and my partners fucking around, rapping and shit on some funny shit on that. Um, how to make cushion OJ, how to make a cushion OJ type beat. So y'all go check that out, man. Laugh it out or whatever. But nah, real talk, man. Shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate your time and your attention, man. Uh, I'm on the road to 100 subscribers. I keep on, I've been saying follow us this whole time. So shout out to me for that. But uh, anyway, man, look at y'all be safe, man. I got, I'm gonna, like I said, you know how I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, play the video. I'm gonna play the beat. I'm a, you know how I do? I'm gonna upload this beat on a separate channel. I'm not on a separate channel, but on a separate video. You know what I'm saying? For you could, do, you know, you could, you know, listen to it like that. But once again, man, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention. And I'm gonna see you on my next video. And let me know something, man, because look, Koala Sampler just dropped an update. I'm about to start making Koala videos too, because I, I actually have some older Koala videos, but you know, I ain't really know what I was doing for real. So I'm going to throw some Koala uh, Sampler videos up and up, because then again, this is what I'm trying. My whole purpose is just, my whole purpose is just to show that you could cook up on the iPad, whether that's with Logic Pro, whether that's with Beatmaker 3, whether that's with um, Koala Sampler, it could be Drambo. There's so many uh, ways to get music off and you could have it sounding professional. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have industry sounding shit off the iPad. And that's just all I'm trying to do, man. I just want to bring value by showing you that you could cook up with an iPad. But hey, I appreciate y'all time again, man. Y'all be safe. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one, you dig?